Hey, this is Prometheus, and I want to show you another tip from my Rushing Academy uh, series here. This is how to go ahead and run the stretch plays correctly. Uh, you can get a lot of great runs with the stretch play, but unfortunately sometimes you have to cut inside. So a lot of times you, if you, if you just run it strictly to the outside, uh, you're going to lose yards and put yourself in a second and long or third and long type of situation or have to punt the ball away. So I'm going to actually go ahead and show you uh, easy tips on how to go ahead and read your blocks and get that ball up on the inside when you occasionally have to go ahead and take it in through the gaps. So the play we're going to select is going to be out of single back ace, and the reason why I like this is because I can flip this play any way that I want, uh, and it's going to be the halfback stretch. Now, if you've been following uh, the pre-release and, and the release of Madden, um, a lot of the you know, top gamers and pre-release people that have been posting um, tips and stuff like that have been stating that the outside runs, such as the stretch plays, are very overpowering this year. So you definitely want to implement stretch plays into your blocking. Now, the key to a stretch play is just making sure you read your blocks and understand that you're going to be trying to take this out, uh, this run outside. So this is a very easy read as far as um, the offense and defense. I've got five defenders on the right side. I've got three on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this play and go ahead and run the ball off the left side. And really what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the defender, which is on the, the end, end man on the line of scrimmage. He's going to be the person that I'm going to determine if I'm going to go ahead and kick it to the outside or to the inside. So this particular situation, it is still an outside run. I've got 70 of the runs are going to be outside, but let me go ahead and show you um, end, end man of line of scrimmages and what you need to look at. All right, so the end man uh, of line of scrimmage is going to be this guy right here. He's going to be the guy that's going to be on the edge. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the tight end. He's going to kind of determine where my block is going to go. So uh, if he actually blocks straight up uh, and he's not allowing this end of man uh, gentleman, uh, or actually end of end man of, on the line of scrimmage to get inside position or actually steady the edge, um, then I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it to the outside. Another read I can have too is that if I see a double team, if I see a double team, I know I'm going to be able to stretch this to the outside and I don't have to worry about cutting it up because you can see the tight end actually will peel off these double teams and the, the, the blockers will peel off and he'll take on a, a pursuit defender right there. So I'm able to go ahead and cut this up with the running back and get a good 25 yard gain, almost one house with that run. So we've got a stack box right here, and this time actually I've got an inside run, and I'll show you the difference between the two with the, uh, with the run. And so right here we got a stack box, um, and blocking some is going to change up a little bit, but if you can see right here, this um, tight end actually went up to the next level, um, and this tackle went to, uh, he actually just took out that, that guy to the outside. So from a pursuit standpoint, um, this guy is actually coming free. He's going to clean up that outside run. Uh, but if you could see, because this this uh, offensive uh, this this tight end actually went and took a tackle, um, actually that was allowed me to go ahead and take the run upside to be able to get a good uh, nine yards on a run that probably would have gotten a loss because a double team wasn't on the end man on a line of scrimmage. So uh, that's one of the reasons you can want to look for that, that double team. If you don't have a double team, then you know you need to go ahead and take it inside. So really the gaps are going to be the following. Let's go ahead and talk about the gaps real quick so you can see uh, what you're going to look at. I'm going to try to put an image right here uh, to show you where the gaps are at. You got your A gaps, you got your B gaps, you got your C gaps, and then the D gaps. So this, this run is basically designed to go to the D gaps. That's going to be where 70% of your runs are going to go to, but occasionally you're going to have to take it up through the uh, C gaps and the B gaps uh, because that's where the, the run is going to get optimized because the end of line um, end man on the line of scrimmage is going to uh, seal off the edge. All right, so we've got a stack box here. This is a 4-4 defense, and uh, one of the things about this particular defense, or about this, uh, this, this play, is that you can get pretty good yards off of the stack defense. So let's go ahead and take it to the right side. We're going to watch for the double team. And as you can see right here, the outside run is just eating this thing. So once again, let's take a look at the gaps. 
So you got your A gaps, you got your B gaps, your C gaps, and D gaps. Your goal is to go from D uh, to uh, C. Uh, those are the, are the gaps you're going to be focusing on. We're taking this ball to the right. We're going to be looking for the double team. And as you can see right here, the double team with the, the this guy right here is your end, end man on a line of scrimmage. He's going to be the very end. He's going to set the edge. Uh, this guy this guy actually gets double teamed by the tackle and uh, the, the, uh, the tight end. And actually, it looks like three blockers to two. And this defender is just nowhere. He can't. He can't hit the gap. This defender right here should be the person that's going to, to, to basically seal off the edge. But he tries to shoot the gap, and that's why I'm able to go ahead and get a big run um, out of the stack box. So this is a really good play to go ahead and build a base offense off of, especially out of the single back. You can flip it to either side, uh, and it gives you a good opportunity to go ahead and get easy yards to the outside. And occasionally, I would say probably about a quarter of the plays, you're going to have to go ahead and consider running the ball. The inside. Um, this would be a situation where you want to run it in because they've got a wide nine set or a long wide set with the defense. Um, I'll be showing this particular play uh, in my live gameplay. I'm probably also going to break down um, a offensive set out of the single back ace. Uh, I just like a couple of the passing plays in here and sprinkling in as, as a, um, a, a stretch play is one of my base running plays is going to be very uh, annoying for my bonus to defend against. So if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like this type of content, uh, not breaking down runs and how to read your blocks correctly, please hit the like button. Let me know that this is content that you that, that you are helping you with your gameplay. Uh, also, uh, if you want to see some more uh, collaboration between other YouTubers and a, a channel where you can get a lot of this, this information, go to yutgaming.com. This is it's a good website that you can use as a reference point. There's a lot of good things in there. Uh, my goal also is to upload uh, complete playbooks just so you have another source to be able to go and find playbooks uh, for uh, if you just want to take a peek at those and you don't have access to the game itself. Uh, to my subscribers, thank you for your support, and until next time.